the most important thing to remember from chapter 15, uh, I'm sorry, from week 15, which is chapter 30, is uh, just that that the Civil Rights Act of 1964, and, and specifically Title VII of that act, um, was designed to, to prohibit um, a discrimination in the workplace. Uh, and it, is, it really applies to any employer engaged in interstate commerce. If you remember way back when we learned about the Commerce Clause uh, in the Constitution, uh, you will realize that the, the federal government, the, the Congress, has no authority to, to limit anybody uh, unless they're engaged in interstate commerce. And now that being said, the courts have sort of taken a very wide interpretation of what it means to uh, to be engaged in interstate commerce. So, so really every business owner should do their very best to avoid discriminating on, against people on the basis of those protected characteristics from Title VII. Um, you can discriminate against employees, just not on the basis of their race, color, sex, religion, or national origin. Meaning you could discriminate in the sense that I discriminate um, in favor of, of better employees over worse employees. You just have to be able to delineate what that means. Uh, that would be called a merit system, right? When you say we promote on the basis of whoever's the best at the job, that's who we promote. Uh, or you can you can discriminate on the basis of longevity. Whoever has been here the longest, they get the job. We always have to discriminate. I mean, that's just the nature of the world we live in. We have to to choose one person. Uh, you know, when there's ten people who want the job, we can only promote one, even though we'd like to promote uh, five people. But we only have one job open, so we have to discriminate in the sense that we have to make a choice about who we're going to put into that position. We just have to make sure not to do it on the basis of protected classifications, um, such as race, color, sex, religion, national origin. Um, uh, you can also, another defense to Title VII is that it's a bona fide occupational qualification. So uh, you can uh, discriminate, uh, say I need a, a, a stronger person, a person who can lift weight, uh, if that's an actual qualification of the job, or I need somebody with a knowledge of of uh, sailing old pirate schooners because you have an old pirate schooner to sail. Uh, whatever you, whatever it is, if you have a bona fide occupational qualification, a reason uh, that a person needs specific skills or attributes, then there's nothing illegal about that so long as that's it's legitimate. Um, just just mostly recognize that when you're an employer or a manager, you have to be careful when you hire, when you promote, and when you fire. Uh, that you're doing so for the right reasons. That means if you have an employee manual that spells out the rules of, of hiring, promoting, and firing, make sure you follow your own rules or you could find yourself uh, being sued or, or having some other action taken against you. Um, and then uh, one other concept is just uh, recognize that uh, most states also have some type of employment laws, but minimum wage laws differ from state to state. Um, workers' compensation laws, workers' compensation is a way to protect employers that are hurt on the job to ensure that uh, they are, are covered. Um, and really any other place where the federal law doesn't address things like discrimination or worker protection, most states have some laws in place that will do that. Um, so that's the end of all the regular coursework. So you've made it. So good job. Um, next week we'll be uh, we'll be doing some review, and uh, you'll get a chance to get started on the final assignment.